Boomer. I change your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. Yeah, I would beat you when you uh, sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home, you ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the fifth round. As always, your boy, Stephen Mousteris. And I just had my dog in there, but she moved a little bit. So, um, anyway, UFC 274 this weekend. I'm so fucking excited for it. Um, we got, I think I, I've already kind of broke down the video of like the intro to UFC 274, you know, kind of like there's chaos Williams on the fight card. There's, I think good Lord, there's Donald Cerrone, Joe Lozon opens up the main card, uh, OSP versus Shogun Hua, you know, some of the fan favorites, um, definitely back in the last couple of years. And I kind of said already, if there was, if this was like eight years ago, this would be one of the more stacked fight cards of all time. It's still stacked, but a little more like household names for the beginning. And then um, like not necessarily the biggest fights for like placements and divisions. But with that being said, I just did the last video I did was uh, Michael Chandler, Tony Ferguson, probably my fight of the night, at least prediction might be my favorite fight of the night. Other than main of maybe the main, the main event. Look, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but just for what's at stake, I guess. I, I really kind of want to see Michael Chandler, Tony Ferguson. They both kind of need a win. I would say Tony needs a win more than Michael, clearly. But you guys definitely check those videos out. And then this leads me into the co-main event. Um, good old Rose Nami Yunus, Doug Rose, as she takes on Carla Esparza. And I'm super fucking geeked about it. I'm sitting here. Man, I don't. I know it's a rematch technically from like 2015, I think 2014's uh, Ultimate Fighter finale between the two, and Carlos Barza won that one third round submission. But man, it's it's tough because I'm going to be completely upfront with you guys. I think Rose Namajunas is going to win this fight. I think she's on a whole different level. I think seeing her beat Joanna twice, beating Zhang Weili twice, um, getting her revenge on. Uh, Literally on every, pretty much everyone, but I don't know. I just want to. I'm I'm in a tough position though because every time I count Carlos Spars out, which has been literally her last four or five fights, like it's something because she's so undersized and like she doesn't punch that hard and everything. Like you kind of like think that the game's evolving crazy and it's gonna run by her, but she's such a specialist on the ground and everything. Like you can't count her out. Like. Yan Zanon or Yan Yanon or whatever her name is. Like, sorry for butchering it. She's a fucking amazing fighter. In fact, she finished her in the second round last year. Blew my mind. Didn't think she was going to win that. I didn't think she was going to beat Marina Rodriguez. Decision, unanimous decision beats her. I didn't think she was going to beat Michelle Watterson even. Beats her. Like, and then I'm sitting here now. I think she has no damn chance at all against Rose because Thug Rose, I feel like, is up there now with like the Valentina Shevchenko and the good old like I would say Amanda Nunes but Amanda just lost so you, you kind of can't put her up there but you know what I'm saying I, I think she's such a dominant champion and I don't know who's gonna beat her like outside of a crazy slam on her head um I don't know it's just it's a really tough one um I shouldn't say that not that tough just because I think Thug Rose is gonna win I think she's on a whole different level than what she once was but it's tough because I can never count Carlos Spars out. She's like, she's one of them gritty girls that just makes it ugly and just is such a good ground game. She somehow always seems to find the neck kind of like, I kind of like a Misha Tate in a way kind of gives me them vibes where like, I feel like it's a lot like the Holly home fight um, where she's getting her ass beat the entire fucking time. And then the last minute she gets the back, Gets the choke, chokes out Holly Holm, becomes a becomes a champion, and it was a phenomenal. Like that's just kind of where I think we might be if that's the way Carlos Sparza wins. I think it could be her just getting her face punched in for the longest, and then. But even deep down, so you're thinking about it now, breaking it down. I think I think Doug Rose finishes her pretty fucking early. But I'm just saying that's the only path of victory in my head that I see, other than like maybe the quickest like exchange ever when they're both dry and she somehow just gets the neck or something. I just don't see her beating Thug Rose. And if she does, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be shocked because it's it's Carlos Barza. Anybody else, I kind of would be shocked. But 
it's Carla Fleckin of Sparza. She always seems to pull off a win. Oh, I don't know, even when everybody's down her, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. It's one of the more intriguing things in MMA, and I, I really respect it, actually. And I saw the whole thing about how she's, like, postponing her marriage and stuff for this. So it's pretty cool. Good for her. So um, I don't know. With all that being said, though, I'm, I'm on the Thug Rose train. I think Thug Rose, I think this is one of her, like, Max Holloway moments or even, like, Alexander Volkanovsky now, if you want to say it like that. Like, there's a really dominant performance that from a champion that just kind of solidifies, like, who she really is. Like, almost like a Valentina Shevchenko-type performance. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if she doesn't get touched at all finishes her within the first two rounds would not be shocked at all so but i mean again like i said every time i doubt carla she seems to win so i'm I'm totally willing to be proven wrong here but i just don't see it against this thug rose i think she's on a whole different fucking level right now so but hey mma is the craziest thing out there so but this has been the fifth round as always your boy steven moves stairs and like i said if you guys want to check out some of those other videos i'll probably have them somewhere right here and then if you guys are into music at all, I mean, I do this thing called the re-listenables where I just break down some of the greatest albums of all time, kind of look up the backstories of why they make songs. There's some real cool fun facts and shit. So uh, rap, R&B, rock, it doesn't matter. So um, if you guys are interested in that, I would definitely check that shit out too. But thank you guys so much. And I'm super hyped for UFC 274.